G-Scatter presets. What are they? How do I create one? And why would I even want to? Well, in this video that's exactly what we're going to find out. OK, most people know what a preset is. It's essentially a setting, an action, or a combination of settings or actions saved as one item, which can be applied later. Just like the items in this list. In GScatter, there are two types of preset options available. Scatter system presets and effect presets. To create a scatter system preset, the first thing we need to do is configure the assets in our scene to achieve the look we're after. So let's make some changes to the current scatter system. We'll increase the density. We'll play with the scale a little. I'll add some rotation. And I'll add a randomized translation effect layer found under the distribution tab and tweak the X and Y values. Obviously, this is a very subtle effect and you can take more time creating the look you're after. But once we're happy with the results, all we need to do is click on the Scatter System Presets button in the GScatter Outliner. Create a unique name for the preset and click on plus to store it. That's now saved. We can then apply this preset to other assets in our scene. So we'll add a second scatter system. I'll choose this plant and scatter it. I then click on the scatter system presets button in the GScatter outliner and click on the preset that I stored previously. Really nice and so easy. You can add as many presets as you like. Once you have the look that you're after, just store it for later use. Oh, and you can remove a preset by clicking on the minus symbol. Scatter system presets can also be activated from directly within the GScatter asset browser. Add a scatter system, choose a plant that you'd like in your scene, and then use the presets drop down option here. I'll select rings. When you now click on scatter selected, it will use that preset to scatter your asset. OK, that's Scatter System Presets. Let's move on to Effect Presets. These are created in a similar way, but work on a per-effect basis. It might help to think of Scatter System Presets as main presets, and Effect Presets as sub-presets. To create an Effect Preset, I add an effect layer such as, say, Wind, found under the Rotation tab. I'll change some of the parameters. and then save it as a preset by clicking on the Effect Preset button, typing in a unique name, and then clicking on plus to store it. This preset will now be available for any wind effect layer. Let me just adjust the viewport here so that we can see that effect more closely. I can then adjust the settings some more to create a different look. and store this as another effects preset. As mentioned, effect layer presets work on a per effect basis, which means the wind presets we've just stored won't be available for effect layers that aren't wind. This might sound obvious, but it certainly doesn't hurt to mention it. As you might imagine, using both types of presets together is a very powerful combination resulting in an almost infinite number of different looks for your scenes. For example, we can click on Bands in Scatter System Presets. We can then choose a Distribution Effect Preset and a Scale Effect Preset. And then we can add a Wind Effect layer and choose one of the previously stored effect presets. And of course, you can save any combination of presets as yet another Scatter System Preset. We hope you have fun using GScatter presets, and please feel free to share the fantastic images you create with us here at Grassfeld. Thanks for watching.